So good morning to you, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles. Today we're going to be taking out this, the Lexmodo Tempest. This is the GT in red. And what a gorgeous looking bike this is. Absolutely lovely presence on the road this one gives. Nice bulbed light and bulbed indicators to the front. And I do like that little Lexmodo screen that just covers the clocks up. Nice set of round mirrors on this one. And then once again, very easy to get to your spark plug adjust your clutch and a nice stainless exhaust on this just love that little muffler that they've got on this one nice low tail hugger and that rear lights now if you've seen the ky key uh, keyway k lights that i was riding earlier um, and obviously this one is a cafe racer compared to the bobber but this one is just so much more refined just get a look at these front brake hoses braided hoses and they've got plastic cover over them as well just to protect those braided hoses where they come around the front of the bike so really really nicely finished off on this one i'm going to take this one out now i do like the idea of the brown grips with this as well nice little low suede seat on this as well so it really does set the bike off well and that paint finish absolutely impeccable beautiful finish on this one so i'm just going to sit on this one and as I, we take you through the bike, so you've got your start button, your kill button to the right on this one. Bottom, the normal position, so you've got the horn indicators, main beam, pass light to the rear. Little round mirrors on this one. Now they do the job effectively, but I've got half of my shoulder in that mirror. So you have to set these out quite wide to get a view. And you can see the road behind, but there's not a lot of view of that road behind with these little round mirrors on this one. So shoulder checks, I always say... You can't be a good shoulder check. On the front of this one, rev counter to the outside of that. You've got your gear indicator, which I love to have a gear indicator on a bike. Mileage at the bottom and your speed just above that as well. And that is in kilometres at the moment. We'll reset it to miles, but obviously for the purposes of ride testing, I'm going to leave this up in Ks at the moment. Very, very easy to do just by putting your hand under the clock and just pressing one of the buttons underneath. But I'm going to leave that for a later test ride when we set the bike up. Levers are nicely positioned and we're just going to start this up because this is the bit that I do love. That burble of that exhaust. It is a really low growl. Sounds very, very similar to the growl that you'd get off something with a Lextech can. So it is a really low growl on this one. So we're going to take this one out into traffic, give it a run up and a nice fuel indicator as well to that clock. So. Now I have found on this one, the pegs are very, very far back. So the peg placing on this is very, very far back as if you were riding a sports bike. So I do like the peg placing on this because obviously normally you just put your feet straight down. If I was to put my feet straight down, I would actually have my rear heel on the brake pedal and on the gear shift. So just looking down at that, you can just see how far back those pegs are. So they are quite a way back on this bike but bars are very, very nicely placed. Just a slight rise on the bars. And if just compare this to the keyway that I was sat on earlier, this is a lot higher up and it's very, very easy just to get your legs in against the tank on this. You've not got your knees all the way up like I had on that keyway K light. So very, very nice position on this bike. And it is very, very comfortable with that suede effect seat on it as well. So nice, hard, but firm seat. And it's not too hard on the posterior. So very very nice placement and nice seating position compared to the other one and I do like the idea obviously of these pegs being a bit further back so it does tuck your knees into the tank just having a look down you can see obviously my my knees when I've got them tucked up are quite low on that tank so absolutely perfect obviously I haven't got the levers on today I've got my Kevlar jeans on today so just riding out got me uh, textile jacket so normally some days I will ride in levers some days I'll ride in my textile jacket and my Kevlar jeans something like this I would always say make sure that you have adequate protection dress for the slide not the ride as we always say in a nice pair of uh, hard work boots or get yourself a decent pair of bike boots the amount of uh, riders that we see out there have got a pair of shoes on or a pair of trainers absolutely unbelievable so just pulling it out just have a listen to that exhaust
lovely sound off of that exhaust, it really does sound nice. So just coming up into the 30, taking our time, and what we're going to do with this, we're going to do the uh, circuit that I did earlier on the keyway in reverse, so I'm going to go down some of the country lanes, down some of the back roads, and take this bike out. Now the one thing I did find, obviously uh, when I was riding on the way here, it pops and bangs with that muffler on the back. You do get a lot of pops and bangs and backfires and I absolutely love it. Now that's obviously with the visor up. What I'm going to do in just a second, thank you very much car driver, much appreciated. With the exhaust on this, it does make people know that you are coming. And I'm just going to downshift in a minute, as I come over the bridge, I'm going to downshift. Just hear those pops and bangs coming off of that exhaust can. It's absolutely gorgeous on that, absolutely lovely. And I do like the smell of a new bike as it's burning off as well, that newness smell. So we're going to take this one out. Just see what the road holding's like on this. It's so comfortable compared to that last one that I rode. And obviously, I I tend to like my sports bikes, my uh, cafe racers, and uh, most of the Lexmoto brand are very, very nice bikes, but this one, oh my god, that exhaust. That's just so loud. So, visor down now. But even with the visor down, I can still hear that can burbling away underneath me. Handles very, very well in the corners. And just for this purpose, I'm just going to drop it down a cog. Absolutely lovely sound from that can probably one of the best sounding bikes that I've heard in absolutely ages. Even the down changes, it's and the rev matching down. Tunnel. And you can just hear the growl of that can. So over the uh, speed bumps, and it's just soaking these up. The suspension on this is absolutely lovely. Once again, over the speed bumps we go, and that suspension on this uh, Tempest GT really working well. Really does the job of soaking up the speed bumps and the potholes. Braking on this is very, very effective as well with that combined braking system. And just going through those corners, it holds the line, but as soon as you put, give it some beans, sound of that can. Like it's the one thing on this Tempest GT that really sets it off. And you can just hear as I'm down changing the, the little pops and bangs and backfires that you're getting off that can. Absolutely beautiful. And even at slow speed, the manoeuvring on this is very, very good. Gear change is lovely and swift and crisp. No sloppiness from that gearbox at all, so very, very precise gearbox. Very, very easy to find what gear you are in. And even down changing. Back out onto the dual carriageway we go. Slightly different route today. But even them little blips on that throttle are really, really nice. And 
just as we wait to pull out into traffic, wait for uh, bus boy to make a move. Just obviously let you know all the Leximado bikes are now coming in. If you're after one of these, they do the Tempest and they also do the Tempest GT. And GT is just such a better refined bike. Tempest is lovely, but this one is just the, the, the icing or the cream on the cake. Just really does sound and look good. Pulling it out into traffic. Gets up the speed ever so quick. And no worries about letting people know that you are coming down the road with this exhaust system on it. A lovely little exhaust from Lex Moto on this bike. It's just like nothing I have ever heard before. It definitely sounds like it's got an aftermarket cam on it. And this one is a standard and in stainless as well so no issues of uh, any degradation or rust on that and just folding it through the corners now that we scrub the tires it just holds a corner so nicely Even cruising along at normal speed, the burble. And obviously with those uh, slightly towards the back pegs, it's very, very comfortable. My knees are lovely and tucked into this tank on this. Lovely riding position. And obviously the only downside I don't know is these mirrors. Now they had these mirrors on the riot and uh, I was alright with the Riot, because obviously the Riot's a smaller bike, but on this... I would have liked either a bar-end mirror, or a, a little bit of a wider mirror up the top end. But it, it does the job, I can see behind me ad adequately, you know, but I'd always say, do your shoulder checks. Make sure you know what's uh, behind you all the time. But I would have liked to have seen a little bit of a bigger mirror on this one. Because obviously compared to the riot mirrors, with me being higher up on the bike, there is a lot of my shoulder in that mirror. Obviously you can set them out, but I'm going to lose the lane behind me if I was to do that. So, might be something that uh, you want to do. Change your mirrors up, put an aftermarket mirror on it. But these do the job adequately. And like I always say, I never ever trust mirrors. But... Uh, we have had people saying, oh, I can see most of your shoulder in the mirror. I've got about half my shoulder in the mirror. And I've set these mirrors out quite wide. But if I do lean forward, I can see. So moving around on the bike, you can obviously get a decent view of the mirrors. So just for those that like the mirror comments on most of my videos, I would have liked to have seen a little bit of a wider mirror on this. I just love the way it pops and bangs as it comes down through that box. But just putting the power on it. Loads of torque off of that engine. Absolutely beautiful. So what we're going to do now, get it up on the dual carriageway, get a little bit more mileage on this one. We are... Seven and a half k's in. So do about 15 before I decide to uh, head back to the uh, garage. And if you know what I'm like for uh, rev matching down, I tend to rev match and not just go through the box, but just feeding it through these roundabouts and the corners. Absolutely perfect. No wandering at all from this bike. Absolutely beautiful. And then once again, that 
that exhaust. <laughs> oh, it's just something to die for. Love the sound of that. So just folding out into traffic and obviously making sure I've got a couple of shoulder checks in here. Yeah, definitely could have done with a, a little bit of a wider mirror on these bikes. But absolutely gorgeous and a great view of the road because it does sit you up quite high so I've got a very very good view of the road ahead of me. Very, very impressed with this Tempest GT. Absolutely beautiful. So we're going to uh, crank a little bit more mileage onto this bike. And I shall uh, catch up with you guys in a minute when we're heading back into town. So just heading back into town. Last bit of urban mileage to put on this bike. Absolutely impressed with this Tempest GT. Really is a nice bike loving that exhaust as well so one more ride test to come up on this in the next couple of days once we've had another set of bolt checks qc's and pdi's as usual if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe thumbs up thumbs down leave a comment in the section below all the social media on my website redbomb.co.uk for eclipse motorcycles all my stuff on my social media channels and until the next time guys when we're out on the Lexmodo Tempest GT again from RB. It's a be well, ride safe, and a big goodbye from me.